So again, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm John Aziz. I'm a Gold Microsoft Learn student ambassador from Egypt. And today I'm going to walk you through how you can automate your business email management using two things, the AI Builder and Bar Apps. These are the supporting links. So the step-by-step -step guide of what we are going to do today is here and the discussion forum for this, um, for this call is here. So uh, uh, let's get started or let me get you started by asking you a question. Uh, have you ever been overwhelmed by the amount of emails you receive daily? I struggled with prioritizing urgent emails and uh, things like that. If you answer yes, so what we are going to do today is going to solve this issue. So I will walk you through a low code to no code solution. We are going to leverage the AI builder and Bower apps to streamline our email handling process. And uh, there is no more sifting through countless messages or missing crucial communication. Whether uh, you are a busy professional or a startup entrepreneur or just someone seeking better email organization, um, I've got you covered today. So to get you started, the first service from Bar Platform that we are going to use is Bar Apps. And uh, um, why we are going to use Bar Apps? Because it's an easy tool that we can build applications on and people can interact with easily. And then we need the emails that we are going to manage. So we are going to use another service, which is a connector. It's Microsoft Office 365 Outlook connector. And how are we going to use the AI? We are going to use the AI Builder tool, which we are going to know more about in the next slides. So Bar Apps, as I have told you, you can build uh, emails that can ease your business processes. It can help you uh, do a low code to no code solutions uh, for your business. And you can learn more about what is Bar Apps in this link. Again, what is Office 365 Outlook Connector? It's a cloud-based uh, uh, service that can link between our Outlook or our Microsoft 365 Outlook and um, Bar apps. So we can communicate with this service. We can send email and receive emails and manage our emails. Another thing, which is the AI Builder Sentiment Analysis Model. So how are we going to do the management here? Um, the Sentiment Analysis Model can analyze the content or the body of the email, if it's positive or negative. And based on that, it can put or group the emails in category in one category. So um, that's what we are going to do. It only gives us the analysis and the confidence score for uh, the, the, the thing or the content of the email. So it's just with you know, some very simple clicks, we are going to be able to do this. So. This is a demo of the app that we are going to build together. You can group uh, the sentiments here by choosing from this filter drop down menu. You can open an email, you can respond to an email and uh, just write the message and click on reply. And if we go to our Ad Outlook account, we can see that this uh, actually works. And this is like small GIF of the solution that we are going to look at. How can you do this on your own? You can uh, do this really simple steps. The first step is to open Power Apps to create the Canvas application, the three pages that you have seen before. Again, uh, oh sorry, the next step is to add the Microsoft 365 Outlook connector, and we are going to see how we are going to do this. And to add the AI Builder Sentiment Analysis Model connector. And the rest is just creating some screens and test and publishing the app. So again, I've been mentioning uh, that there is a step-by-step -step guide in this link. Let's uh, do this together now. So to get you started, a, I have to open my outlet here. Yeah. So this is the link. This is the bit.ly for the slash managed dash email dash with AI. This is a blog on Microsoft Tech Community. You can see the steps for creating everything that I have mentioned today to replicate the solution step by step and uh, the options for each element, each UI element that is being created, you can see the option of how you can do it yourself. Um, I have only included one screen. As you can see, it's a lot. So the other two screens, uh, you can either try 
to take what you have learned from building the first screen and apply it to build the other two screens, or you can get the solution from my GitHub uh, repository. The, the link is also included here. And um, I'm just, I can't seem to find it now, but the link is here for the GitHub repository that has the full application and the steps. So you can import it yourself to your bar app environment is in the uh, demo or in the block. So uh, to get started, uh, as I told you, we are going to open our Power Apps. So in order to open Power Apps, we are going to go to make.powerapps.com. Okay. And then you should open your apps and then start building the application. I have it already built. Uh, yani building uh, an application like this takes some time. So it might take you an hour, two hours, three hours maximum for you to build it from scratch. Um, then that's why we are just going to go uh, and do the things that we can do in the couple of minutes that we have. So we are just going to click on edit. And then we have the application open here. This is the first screen, the browse emails screen. You can search for emails. You can group the emails by the sentiment and you can get emails and refresh them. Why are we going? Uh, why are we doing this? The process of getting emails is not um, happening simultaneously. We have to refresh it. So if I get the emails right now, I have a version of the emails at this point of time. So it's not going to get updated when someone sends me a new email. What can I do? I can reset the gallery and get emails again. This is a very simple step. It's just a true or false. And if the refresh is true, refresh Outlook is true, I'm just going to make another call to Outlook uh, 365 connector to get new emails. Let's go and include the connector so we can see emails here. So how can we do this? We can go to uh, the connector or the data, yeah, the data, and then I can add, uh, add data from here, and then I can choose the connector and choose the Office 365 Outlook connector. I already have it linked. Uh, when you try to do this step, it's going to ask you to accept and sign in and so on. So once this loads, and uh, the emails are going to show up in front of us. While it loads, where did I get the code to build this gallery? It's really simple. It all started with this line of code. I'm just calling the connector. I'm calling a function called get emails. And this function takes the folder path. If you check your email, you can see that each email or emails are grouped inside folders. There is the inbox, which has all the emails. And there is conversation feedback. And I have created a folder. For uh, this demo specifically, you can get all the emails from your inbox. That's totally fine. But for us, we are just going to get the feedback because I don't want to show you all my emails. So let's get back and see if the Outlook has worked or not. So um, why is it not showing up anything? The filter function is blocking the AI builder from um, Yanni. Okay. If we just do this, but we have um, and we have messed up the search. You can see all the emails are showing up here. Okay, so again, if we do this, again when we load. This is the first email. We can enter the email. If I click on dismiss, it's gonna mark the email as read. And if I click on respond, it's gonna go to another page to enter my message and click on reply. Again, let's go back and. Um, Put the filter in place because, um, okay, I'm not going to be able to get it. So let's get it from here. Okay, so I think it's, it's oh, it didn't copy everything. So again, let's copy it and paste it here. So, okay, now it works. I think. Okay, so again, it's not going to work un unless I link the AI Builder model. So AI Builder, as you uh, may have seen before, it has lots of, and lots of models. 
that are ready for you to use and the documentation is also and you can just use it like um, that so i click on ai models and then i choose the model that i want and we want the sentiment analysis model okay once we have it connected the filter is gonna work why didn't it work because we we were calling the sentiment analysis model here and it's not uh, yani, nothing called sentiment analysis in our application so it gave us an error now once we have it it's gonna start uh, loading i think and should work fine okay uh, let, let me check the error i think yeah i might have changed the name of this one okay so uh, this is the combo box for the sentiment analysis here it's i think it's the combo sentiment yeah so the combo sentiment uh, box okay combo okay sentiment i think now it should works should work i think i don't know does it work yeah it's sending the request and now it gives us the email and the sentiment this email it says it's negative so if we go and look at it we can see this is the worst product so it's really a, a negative email if we go back to the filter again and we choose not the negative one we want the positive emails again i can see it it says you are the best company i loved everything and it's positive and the confidence score is 79 percent how can you do this on your own it's um yani if you go to the office 365 documentation scroll down you can see all the functions that i have shown you before the git emails function version one version two and version three and if you want to include or implement the search and the filter this is a cool documentation from microsoft y yani I, I got the code i copied it i just understood what it does what it needs and then i did it it's really easy. This is a filter example. And you can see how you can do it your own. Again, using the AI builder, you, if you go to the documentation, you can see it tells you to include it and just type the name of the model, then predict and give it the input and see what you want to get back from this model. And um, I hope you got, you got it. Let's try to respond to an email. Let's dismiss the positive one because of course we don't want it. Now if I search for the positive emails, I'm not going to find anything. And let's go to the negative one and try to reload it. Okay, now I can go in and I can respond. Sorry, sorry for that. <laughs> and when I click on reply, message ID is blank. Okay, I think when we, uh, um, when we open the message, it it, it mark it is as red. So I think this might be the problem. Let's go back here and see what happened. So this is a message, and this is the other message, and the reply. Hello, we will work on that. And that's it. And that's the demo. Uh, thank you so much. If you wanna. Uh, talk to me about this demo. You can check this link. And if you want to go to the step-by-step -step guide, you can follow this link. Mm -hmm.